So morning everyone, it is day 26. We are basically at the ferry. This is where I stopped yesterday. We're gonna get the ferry here from Ram over across the water. And then we're gonna start sort of making our way one of the legs towards Belgrade. Still deciding how far to go today. I've basically got to do 60 miles, I think in three days to get to Belgrade. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna try and hack out a marathon today if I can, I think. We're heading towards a place called Coven. Um, and I think that's going to be about 26 miles. And if I can get there, that's a good chunk out of the rest of the distance. Feeling really strong. You know, I slept well last night, had good food. I'm well fed this morning. We had an apartment where I could get breakfast nice and good. Spirits are high. I think the police guys are going to, we're driving onto the ferry now. I'm going to walk. Um, i start my track in here. So the first bit of this is cruising across this river. Uh, but yeah, I guess I'd better go and up on the ferry, don't want to miss it because they're only every three hours. Temperatures, I think, are going to rise pretty high today, so I quite want to get all of this done before it gets too crazy. So, the idea really would be to move on to there about kind of get done by midday if I can. Um, I'm going to decide what the other side was. I'm going to run the road, or I'm going to run like a dirt track close to the river. If I go the dirt track, there's no water for maybe 16 miles, so I'd have to do a pickup at 10, carry as much as I can. And then I could go the road, but we will see, we will see. Anyway, we better go and get you on the ferry, otherwise we'll miss it. So stage 26 is done and today kicked off with a ferry ride and then basically I sort of did a really long stretch of main road that was nice and quiet through a forest so it was nice and green nice and quiet there was loads of shade it was flat as a pancake very very runnable very very enjoyable apart from getting chased by two farm dogs that I thankfully got across their territory but they saw me they came from a long way back and they chased out onto the road and they were following me along the road for a little while. Luckily, I had a bit of energy today, so I put the afterburners on. I was far enough away to kind of get well away from them and they decided not to chase me much further. So, yeah, apart from that, it was it was a kind of wonderful run. That first stretch, I think about 10 miles, I just flipped into a really sort of steady pace, really nice clip, ran on feel and that... You know, just I'm, I'm constantly listening to tendons and little bits of my body that, um, you know, if I if I hear, hear them kind of complain or grumble, I steady, I kick back, I sort of drop the pace back. I might even walk sometimes. You know, I'm I'm basically listening in all the time. But today, I just sort of went on 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 feel, and I was able to move along at times at like seven and a half minute miles, uh, without really exerting myself from a heart rate point of view or feeling like I was putting too much strain through the legs, which was great. Got that first 10 miles done, met the family in a town where I sort of had a 20 minute break, restocked, drank a lot of water because the next 16 miles was essentially along a dike road. So you get these kind of raised roads 
they're not roads, they're sort of dirt tracks, really, trails essentially, but flat, up on, on this kind of dike right next to the river. And they sort of curve around with the river. And they go on for miles and miles and miles. It's often sort of forest to the right as well. But you're very, very close to the river on this stretch as well. So I knew I was going to have 16 miles of that to do with no access to water. It's quite isolated. You can't really get in there with a the car, so the crew couldn't come along. So I knew I was going to have to suck that up. So I basically managed to do that whole stretch on just 500 mils of water. Um, by the end of it, I was just, I, you know, it was that was it. I was at my limit, really, of I don't know how many hours of running, maybe three hours of running in pretty strong heat, maybe around sort of late 20s by that stage. And I was done. So when I got to Coven, which was my finish point, I was a bit sort of wobbly, maybe, and I, you know, needed water desperately. So when the car pulled up with my wife and my son, that was a great moment. I had that to drink. And then we I finished the last stretch into sort of Coven and ran with Riley as well, which was a really nice touch. You know, having his smiling face, you know, when I'm doing these stops and then at the finish is is definitely a boost. And I promised him that I would try and get today done as quick as I could without being reckless so that we could come back and spend some time together. And yeah, that's a really big kind of motivator to sort of get enough time or get as much time as possible with them before they sort of head back. So yeah, running free without the pack as well. You know, that's that's obviously a godsend. Uh, it's, it's so nice to not have that weight on your back. Um, one thing though, you can't get too complacent because it's got to go back on again. So I've got to remember what it's like and I don't want to get too comfortable without it. Momentum is something that I've been talking about a lot in these videos and today I didn't have my my phone storage was waxed was waxed was maxed out the cameras are both kind of maxed out in the SD cards I'm having a bit of trouble sort of swapping stuff out so I can keep recording but it was a blessing in disguise really today because it meant that I wasn't sort of stopping to shoot videos or take photos or whatever I just got my head down and moved with kind of st you know steady progress and it felt nice actually not to have to break the rhythm not to have to stop to walk through towns you know where there might be dogs just just me in this open trail basically no one around for miles and miles and miles it's just getting your head down getting into a rhythm and almost kind of meditative today it was the kind of running that I, I really love you know you just you sort of lose yourself in the rhythm you lose yourself in the thoughts and you're not having to constantly be aware of what's around you and that, that's great. I'm hoping there's going to be a lot more of that, actually. You know, I know some people, I've met cyclists on the way down, they've said, oh, it's really boring on those stretches. But I, I love it because that's, you know, that's just a freedom to run, which is what I was talking about back in Romania that I just didn't feel that I had. And it's it's now arrived here whilst I've been in Serbia. And it's been really wonderful to have that because then it's just you versus the miles, basically. It's you versus the run rather than you versus the run and the logistics and things trying to hurt you. And there's a freedom to that, a mental freedom, burden lifting that feels really good. It's still challenging. You know, you've still got to work your way through those miles. You've still got to use all the strategies that you can to chunk it up and, and make progress. But I'm at a point where, you know, four sets of five miles to do 20 is comfortable. It feels comfortable. I've got um, I've got a men the mental tools to take those miles down and do them you know, really, really strongly. And even today I did think, you know, had I had a water stop a little bit earlier, a little bit of an intervention a bit earlier, I probably could have kicked on and done 30 today without, you know, without too much trouble. But we've got basically 30 miles now to run into Belgrade over two days. So what I'm probably going to do tomorrow is split that. I might go out and do maybe 15 and then do 15 the second day and arrive in Belgrade, it's going to be 37s tomorrow. So I think it would be a smart move not to try and push through that sort of major heat, get out there, get it done, get back before you, you know, you have to soak up and do too much damage to the body. Then we're in Belgrade, first major capital city on this run, a huge milestone for the journey. Uh, can't wait to get there. And, and I've not visited for quite some time. So I'm looking forward to going back into some familiar territory and seeing some things showing Riley and, the, and my wife those things that you know they've they've not seen before but um and then we're on up to the north of Serbia and I think that leaves us about six days left of running in Serbia and then we'll be another country down we'll dip into Croatia for two days so that'll be another country down and then we're onwards to Hungary Slovakia Austria and Germany which sounds crazy we're, we're, we're closing in on really being sort of halfway through this journey and it's flown by so quickly and yeah, there I sort of settling into kind of a rhythm now with it. Um, 
I don't want to jinx it and touch wood. There's still a long, long way to go, but I feel strong. I feel mentally strong. I feel physically the body is giving me everything that I need it to give me right now. The, the feet are fairly settled again now. You know, the problems that I have with the heels off those long days of walking have settled down. The little toes are sort of not too bad. And yeah, I mean, my only problem really is that I'm just eating everything that I can find. <laughs> and that anything, everything, anything, everything. Um, that's not really a problem, but yeah. No, I'm sorry, I am eating well, but it's, um, yeah, I sort of say this every day. It's like, you know, every day I arrive from A to B intact is, is a win. And that's all it is. So take it one day at a time, get from A to B without, you know, any any major ego, trauma, heroics, all of that kind of stuff. You you know, there was a time today when I thought maybe I could push on and do, you know, faster miles. You start to go, oh, what if I could do, it would be amazing if I did like a four hour marathon in this. And then you just have to go, what are you thinking? That's, 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 that's not what you need to be thinking here. That's it for another day, those kind of thoughts. Just ease it down, steady, steady, steady. And, you know, just get there with doing as little damage to your, to your muscles as possible so they're fresh for tomorrow and and that's what i did so yeah i'm you know it's a happy thing that i've got all the kind of fuel back on board as well the right kind of fuel that i'm enjoying so you know i had my um precision fuel and hydration cubes today they really helped i had the the high the electrolytes and stuff which obviously definitely helped i've sort of topped up on them this morning that absolutely helped me to do those 18 miles before you know when i didn't have any water but anyway that's it for me. It's been a good day, another good day. Serbia has just been absolutely brilliant so far. I hope it continues all the way up to the north and to the border, because if it does, then, you know, it's just going to have been a very, very happy stretch of this journey and fire me into to Hungary, feeling very, very buoyant. So, yeah, anyway, thanks for listening. Don't forget, charity link. Share the charity link. Donate if you haven't. If you have any questions about this run that you want me to answer in these videos, please hit me up, because I will endeavour to answer them. And, um... Yeah, like and subscribe, ring the bell, we'll do all those things. And yeah, just again, thank you for your continued support on this journey. It means a great deal to have people out there, you know, willing me on to, to get to the end.